Hey, what's up everybody? Freddy C here, and welcome back to Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. We are in a province known as La Cruz. Now this province does not have a boss, but it does have one special crossover mission, which I'm going to do in a different save slot, because I'd rather save that for other occasions. Now since La Cruz has no cartel boss to go after, this one is going to be strictly rebel ops and supply raids only. So I'm going to do as much as I can, while I can. <clears throat> and I'm going to complete as much rebel ops and do a couple of supply raids uh, for you guys. There's a plane here with some food parcels here at this makeshift runway near Santa Elena Village. And there is a helicopter with communications tools over here. And there are one, let's see, two, three, four, and five re Rebel Ops to do. I think, believe it or not, I might have completed one or two before coming over here. So I may have gotten that a done a little early. But either way, we're going to do our first Rebel Op of the La Cruz province. Now, this one's a special gameplay for you guys. So, without further delay, let's kick this off by doing the mortar uh, side mission here. And while we're at it, we're also going to collect a couple of skill points along the way, as well as a couple of bonus medals, uh, weapons accessories, and of course, weapons themselves, like the SPAS-12 over here at the Unidad base. And I think I've collected a couple of other weapons as well. So I think I only have to get like an accessory and a shotgun. So without delaying any further, let's get into the action. Buckle up, people. I'm in, let's go. Beep beep! Get out of my way, punk! <laughs> so yeah, like I said, this province is going to be Rebel Ops only, so this may be a little shorter or a little longer than anticipated, depending on how many times we fast travel or fly to the objectives. Now, flying to the objectives might make it a little faster and easier. But when it comes to supply raids like the choppers and the airplanes, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks on how to pull those off without losing any of the aircraft to any Santa Blanca pilots. So here we go. We're here at uh, Carrasco Farm. I think that's what it's called. Still going to use the LVOA rifle. Hey, I found a Santa Blanca medal. This will make a nice souvenir. Oh, and uh, the sniper rifle I'm using is known as the BFG 50. Which is actually a Barrett, guns are spoken. Barrett 50 caliber sniper rifle. But, yeah. Let's start the radio op. Defend the radio. And we have like 2 minutes and 10 seconds to defend this thing. Deploying drone. Ready? Open fire. Roger. Call Pakatari for some reinforcements. We're gonna need some help. I'm opening fire. Let's try like target you know, eliminated. Tactical view instead of first person view because. Uh oh. Got no tangos on my radar. Nice. I love it when things go boom. I think that's all of them. Wait, actually. Let me remove the suppressor off this thing. One shot from this sniper rifle and any vehicle that gets hit with this thing will go kaboom within seconds. Just got to oh, Here we go. Better can't take much more. Oops, crap. There we go. That's what I wanted to show you. We got one more minute. One more minute till the op is done. Huh. 
Maybe a little quicker than expected. Any more cars coming? Ooh, I see one. Okay, I see you. I see you. I see you. Boom! <laughs> That's what I like. We good? Shit got close for a second there. <laughs> Told you I was going to demonstrate my sniping skills. And mission complete in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Show's over. That ought to get the rebels fired up. Nice. That went well. Oh, look. We leveled up. Okay, let's see. Where else can we go? Hmm. I think for this one we're going to need a helicopter. So, let's see what I can get. No, not a tanker, not a... I guess a Unidad helicopter will have to do. I asked Pat Katari to send us a vehicle. Ooh, nice! A UH-60 Blackhawk helicopter. Complete with rocket launchers! Nice! I got it. I'll fly. With things like that, they actually, these rocket launchers work more like missiles than rockets. Alright, so now we're going to fly to the objectives. Now, hold on. Let me just make sure I'm not too close to any of the provinces. All right, that one's a security province. That one's a production province. That one's a smuggling province. You know, we may go for... As soon as we're done with the influence, we'll go for the smuggling and we'll go for the uh, production provinces next. We'll save the security for, like, later uh, gameplay. This is more of a play-the-way-you-want kind of game. It's open world, you get to go anywhere, you get to do anything, you get to dismantle these guys however you want. But my main focus is definitely taking out the influence before going after the rest of the security and then going after the production and the smuggling operations as well. But for now, let's just do some rebel ops out here in the cruise, do a couple of supply raids. And once we're all done with this province, we'll go on to the next province. For some really good special ops. Oh boy. No way I'm going to climb up there. Okay, going to land the chopper here. This one's easy. All you got to do is just go up to the thing and just switch it on. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Now the rebels can come claim it. Hope that makes them get use of whatever's inside it. I'd hate to think we came all this way for nothing. So yeah, any supply drops will help upgrade the cooldowns for like spotting hey man, support. Try to take us off some sweet jumps, all right? So now that that's out of the way, let's go to an antenna station over here. This one's a breach and clear type of mission. One of my favorites. I love breaching buildings, and I love taking out the bad guys. <laughs> for this one, I'll just use the rifle and the pistol, since my sniper rifle is more good for, like, distance. Oh, and if you're wondering why is there, like, a burnt forest over here, well, it's because in this game, La Cruz Province was kind of damaged by a forest fire. And, yeah, as you can see, it left pretty devastating results. So let's land the helicopter here. Don't you crash into my chopper now, you hear? Oh, yeah. I asked the rebels to do a recon of the area. Uh-oh. Get down. Can't have Unidad track me down. I don't want any attention from those guys. Oh, yeah, and I think I forgot to do some upgrades. Hang on. 
Let's see. Is there any frag, 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 frag? Nope. Got to get more gas parcels for this one. Oh, but wait. There's C4 available. Nice. C4. I actually like using this. Demo's primed like and place. Rally up, people. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's use the pistol for this fight. Get away from there. That woke him up. Surprise, suckers. Engage. Get to contact. Tango at the dump. Ah, oh, shit. We've been spotted. Yeah, no kidding. We've been spotted. Yeah, John Wick style. <laughs> That's it, we're gonna do clear. something or are we just taking in the Nicely sights? Done. Let's go. Now they'll have trouble coordinating their ops against the rebels. Nice, that mission's complete. Let's get to the chopper! <laughs> oh man, I love it when he says that. Okay, now for this one, we're going to need to deactivate an antenna and then fly to the next one, since it'll save time. Or we could go to this place first, grab an Intimidator Sicario. You know what? L let's do that one first. And then we'll do the antenna part. And then we'll do some supply raids, and then from there, we have completed a couple of Rebel Ops... And then we'd be completely done with La Cruz Province. Uh, how close am I to the... Uh, yeah, let's fly over that one right over there. Cause that little piece of land over there will lead directly to Flor de Oro. That's the heart of the Unidad uh, Province. Ooh, that's a nice little hacienda down there. I wonder who lives there. Oh yeah, there's a mission nearby with that plane. Yeah, I tried I tried completing that before, but unfortunately it crashed and I couldn't complete the mission. But hopefully I'll be able to get it done without any flaws. Flawless victory. <laughs> a little a little Mortal Kombat moment right there. Land the helicopter here. Hide in the bushes so nobody sees me. In the area. <laughs> You're in the bushes! <laughs> oh man, I love having some humor. Alright, let's, let's spot some bad guys here. Only that chopper. Stay Anthem. levels to recon the area for us. Roger let's that. take him Move out. Take I that guy out. That car's got an alarm. And take Roger this guy out. Find a good position. Target marked. Say the word. Looks like the villain frog. He's gone. The lieutenant's on the run. Get over here. There's only one fucking reason I haven't beat every one of your teeth out of your mouth and fed them to you already. I need you to be able to speak to your boss when you see him and tell him he's in for much worse. Your legs, though. Your arms. You can still talk without those, right? Oh, God, no. I talk so much better when I'm not in pain. So much better! Say goodbye to your reputation, tough guy. Guitarist people are going to be laughing about this for a long time. Okay, so for the next Rebel Op, we're going to need a faster helicopter. So we're going to have to leave that chopper, and we're going to have to take, take this little one. It's a little faster. I'm on. So we're going to select the network antennas mission. So 
but yeah, we're going to have to leave the Unidad chopper there. And see, notice how the little choppers are a lot faster than the big ones? Saves you time. Whoops. Let's get away from that jeep. Okay. Act deactivating, and I've got less than That's one antenna. Time two minutes. For number two. two minutes, 19 seconds. Should be a cinch. Since it's on that side. No problem. We're gonna fly like an eagle. <laughs> oh man, I really gotta study the lyrics of that song. That's a pretty good song. Every time I hear that, I always think of my, one of my favorite movies from childhood, Space Jam. That was the best movie ever. If you guys agree with me, tell me in the comment section below, please. I really want to hear your thoughts and opinions on that one. A little over a minute and a half left, but no problemo, because we have arrived just in time. Sprint. And mission complete. Nice work. That should keep those Sicarios from sharing rebel positions. Uh -huh. Okay, now that the rebel ops are complete, it's time. No, that's a convoy. It's time for the supply raids. First up, the makeshift runway. Because of you, we have acquired some resources that we desperately needed. Olivia needs your forces to be strong. Frankly, Pack, so do we. Soon our guerrilla force will grow into a true standing army. The type of army that achieves total victory. Muchas gracias. You are most welcome, Pack. He really appreciates our help. Good man. Alrighty, tidy. Now to recon the makeshift runway. Drone is airborne. Uh, which one of these guys is the pilot? Got another tango. I got a third target. I got a target carrying submachine Might be guns. him. Could be this guy. Here's target number five. Uh, it could be that guy. Oh, Roger, screw it. Let me get in position. Let me have my teammates. Sideline. Take I got these it. guys out. Position. I'll take the other two Target out. Target acquired. Target acquired. Standing by. Ready. Call the shot. Oh, crap. Oh yeah. Last time the plane. Clear on this side. Last time the plane crashed, it was because of these things. So here's what I'm gonna do. Plant some C4 here. Primed. Clear the way. There. Now we'll have no problems. Now we can take the plane and land it at an airfield nearby, occupied by the rebels. I'll fly. Which is... right here. And what luck, because this outpost right over here has a helicopter that we need to take with some communications tools. How crazy is that? And lift off. Fucking hell. <laughs> well, what happened? Something break in the back there? No mad. I think about that song every time I'm flying a plane. You know, this plane right here is a Cessna, and it reminds me of the times I actually flew in the cockpit of one when I was, uh, well, learning how to fly these when I was younger. No joke, I, I really joined a program when I was younger, and I learned how to be like a co-pilot, at least, in a Cessna plane. Fun times, fun times. Wish I could do that all over again. 
Okay, at this point, I'm definitely going to have to slow down. That's it. Nice and steady there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I ran over a rebel. I ran over a rebel. It was an accident. Good work. The rebels will be damn glad to get their hands on this cargo. Let's head out. We'll tell them where to find the plane later. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Okay, now we go after this chopper at this outpost. And ooh, they got a bonus medal. Don't mind if we do. We're going to hoof it on foot. And while there's still daylight, hopefully. Actually, you know what? We could just fast travel to, like, Santa Elena and then change the time to morning so that way we don't have to worry about that crossover mission. Okay, if you want to know what the crossover mission in this uh, level is, I'll tell you. Has anybody ever played another Tom Clancy game series called Splinter Cell? Well, if you remember the gameplay I did for Ghost Recon Breakpoint, it was when Nomad teams up with Sam Fisher on Aroa to uh, capture this guy called the Strategist. Well, he appears in this game before he did in Breakpoint. I think he is looking for something. But, yeah, like I said, I'll have to play that mission in a different save slot because I'll have plenty of equipment and plenty of ammo and stuff for, you know, that kind of gameplay whenever I get the time and chance. Now, it may be a very short gameplay, or it may, it may take, oh, Jesus. By the helipad. It may take a couple of attempts to complete, but trust me when I say this, it's strictly a stealth mission, and you don't engage Unidad unless Sam gives you the okay to do so. And baby makes three. Okay, so if we're going to take a helicopter, we need to take out a guy wearing headsets, like this guy. Roger that. Move it. Yeah, it's important to take care of that guy because he's the pilot and he can easily get away with the chopper. Shit, I, I gotta find a good position. position. I've got the target. Say the word. Opening fire. Got him. He's down. Oh, there's a couple of Kingslayer files. Uh, maybe we could worry about the bonus thing I'm later. I'm seeing two narcos here. At the entrance to the camp. <laughs> yeah, we'll worry about the bonus medal later. Right now, let's just steal the chopper. Rally on me. Copy that. Get this sucker to where it needs to be. Oh, same airfield. Look at that. So long, suckers. <laughs> we stole your chopper. We stole your chopper. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I just loved adding humor in my videos. Supply choppers to help cartel crushing rebels. I love my job. Well, that's all the rebel ops. Now, I think. Yeah, Santa Elena would be our best bet. So let's fast travel there. I'll change the time to morning. 6 30 in the morning. Because I really want to get to that weapons case, and I really want to unlock that SPAS-12 for, like, later Rebel Ops missions in other provinces with no bosses.
almost done. I just want to conclude this by grabbing a weapons case while infiltrating a Unidad base in broad daylight. Oh. Yeah, like I said, I was going to re redeploy at 6.30 in the morning. Because I don't want to end up causing a mission failure. Because, you know, getting to that supply box with that shotgun inside is going to require me to take out a couple of Unidad soldiers. And in order to do that, the crossover mission cannot be active unless it's okay to do otherwise. Because, like I said, I'm going to do, like, crossover missions for special occasions. Now would be a perfect time to get to that Unidad base. It's right there. Police and military all over the world. Yeah, Spas 12s are pretty cool shotguns. Probably one of my favorites. Oh, yeah, and one, one more thing. Hang on. Nope. What are you doing? Renew the paint a little bit. Uh, are there any... Nope, still no sites available, so it looks like we're stuck with the red dot site. Oh yeah, I've unlocked like a sniper rifle and a submachine gun known as the yeah, the P90 submachine gun and the M1891 sniper system, as well as the SASG12, the Sega 12 shotgun. I think I unlocked that one in uh, Agua Verde or something like that. But yeah, these are all just weapons that I have for now, and uh, maybe in like later gameplay videos, I might actually use this one, the F2000. This super cool looking one right here. Alright, but enough dilly-dallying. Let's just get to this SUV right here. Hang on, I'll drive. Man, you'll never let me drive anymore. Just because that one time... Yeah, radio off, please. Beep beep! Whoa, Nelly! We're slipping and sliding over here. <laughs> Look how muddy the SUV got! <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you drive on dirt roads in the rain. <laughs> oh man, what is wrong with me? We'll worry about that accessory case later. I may get that thing at the end of this gameplay, but for now, let me show you what you got to do when it comes to getting weapons cases in a Unidad base. It definitely requires you to be stealthy. Purely stealthy. <laughs> Just breach the fence. Nice work, stupid. Oh, train! They asked the rebels oh, to the recon of the area. Really? Just two soldiers? Are you kidding me? Drone jammer. Great. Bad guys are marked. Waiting on you, boss. <sighs> Got it. In Move position. It. Target's marked. Just say the word. I need to get to a better position. Eyes on the target. Roger. Target acquired. That tango's down. Eyes on an Unidad grind. Okay. We're cool. Where you got him? By the stack of tires. Wounded that bird on patrol. Watch out. Spotting another tango. Yeah. This is gonna be a challenge. Got another tango. Definitely hide in the bushes. Oh, 
Huh, wonder where that truck is moving. Can you see him on the map on the lower right side of my screen right there, guys? To recon the area for us. Really? You're just gonna. Oh my god. Marking an enemy. I got eyes on a mounted weapon. on two wounded next to the container, see? to the camp. Rebels to do a recon of the area. Target's marked. Move it. Good to go. Let me get a good sight of that. Target marked. I got it. Moving to position. Target marked. Hey, a new Nidad soldier. I don't see him. On the bridge. Ready. Call the shot. Tango is fucking down. Nice. Nice teamwork. We're good. We're good. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need my sniper rifle for this one. I'm definitely going to have to suppress it. Hang on. There we go. Okay, so this oh, one's going to okay. have to require me Rally up, people. to get up Come. into that tower and do some binocular reconnaissance since the drone is not going to work due to the drone jammer. Turn on some night vision to see where I'm going. Okay, here we go. Eyes on the Jimmy. Want to shut off their lights? Sniper up in the tower. He makes five. Enemy spotted. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Oh boy. Moving to position. Top of the tower. Let me find a good Copy position. that. Moving. I can do sync shots Got while the using target. the binoculars too. Roger. Target acquired. Ready to fire. That's one less bad guy. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Drone. Can't see squat. That drone's being jammed. Let's see how many of these guys we could take out without being spotted.
either shut down the generator, which will shut off everything. Got it, moving. Or I could just shut down the jammer. I need Copy. to get to a better position. Target marked. Moving to a better position. Target acquired. Good to go. Going hot. Dropped him. Poked the hornet's nest. That was close. I asked the rebels to recon the area for us. Nothing. Move there. We'll go. Let's deactivate that. Okay. Now we can use the drone to recon the area. Tango number three. Eyes on a grunt. He's alone. No snipers in the tower. That makes five. Oh crap. The truck is back. Well, we mostly want it to be clear around the SPAS 12 over there, so. Oh, shoot. Rally on me. Great, they spotted me. Well, well, that guy did at least. Rally up, people. Roger that. Moving to position. There's a weapons case over here. I don't have a shot. This will go nice with my boots. Nice. Got it. Rally on me. Okay. Roger. Move it. Time to get out of here. Got it. Moving. Let me find a good position. Eyes on the target. Roger that. Target marked. Tango down. All right. Let's get out of here. Even if I drive off when my teammates don't enter go. the vehicle, they'll still regroup with me within a span of seconds. So we're going to drive... here. And then after that, we'll end this gameplay real quick. Shortly after that. Close am I to? Oh, okay. Oyito. Nice. Deploying little, drone. A little reconnaissance. Oh, I got some I got Santa Blanca guys over here. Five. Just spotted one with submachine guns. I guess getting their attention would be a good idea. Fire. Tango down. They're gonna make you back up. We don't need to be quiet on this one. I asked the rebels to do a recon of the area. Sniper. 
right through the wall. Firing. All clear. Good shooting. Let's clean up and move on. We are here today with lovebirds Felipe and Marta, who have the most amazing story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the province of La Cruz. Still a couple of skill points to collect, but I will collect those in a little while. Uh, so when we get back into action for the next gameplay of Ghost Recon Wildlands, our next stop is the province of Okoro. This province is part of the production organizations for the Santa Blanca cartel. And we're going to find out exactly who runs the province and how we're going to make this guy's life a living hell. So, yeah, this will be it for the Rebel Ops gameplay for Ghost Recon Wildlands. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop some likes and tell me your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below because I really want to know what you guys think of all the action. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel whenever you get the time and chance. And if you want to be notified about my latest uploads on my newer videos, definitely switch the notifications on and make sure that they're on all so that way you don't miss a single notification. And that's it, guys. That's all I got to say. So thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you in my next gameplay. And until then, this is Freddy C. signing off.